Admittedly, I haven't listened to every piece Billie Eilish has put out, but I know Bad Guy. And this piece? Total favorite of mine. But now, as we approach Dominum, Bad Guy goes zombie metal style. That's going to be interesting, I think. I don't know what to expect with this one. I mean, our first occasion of a cover experience. As I told you, we are taking the deep dive of an album survey with Hey Living People. I still get a big kick out of a name again, paired with the concept of zombie metal. And the first approach for me in terms of the playlist by that attribution, but again, on suspicion, in the beginning, right, with a first uh, dominum introduction. And a bit of a departure from normality when, it, or normality when it comes to European metal experiences, most of which I arrived too late via your recommendations of which I've cataloged I hope in entirety each one. I always reference that comment section. So many new names come my way. But Dominum, an emerging uh, name within the European talent space for sure of a metal uh, um, fixation, I've noted before a stylization closely adjacent, at least void of understanding of declared style on part of the group. Modern, power, and heavy. Those are the drifts that I get, easily cued by uh, deliberately by their first 10 originalist numbers of great adventurism, again, for an initiation album. The first so far and hopefully a long line. And I would imagine many of you are approaching Domino with similar familiarity to me, given that they have quite a potency, I think. Again, their name's been getting around, not just with the upcoming Feuerschwangs uh, tour, where they will be a guest. Understandably, that's what the connection that brought me into awareness of them. In fact, uh, one of their lead people, uh, Hody, as he's known there, or Fru D'Artagnan, Ben Metzner, the connection on advertising, I think, for an Instagram uh, uh, piece. That's how I found out word about Dominum. And the Napalm Records connection, obviously inevitable, but a welcome introduction for Patient Zero and every number on. But we're exploring the covers together again. New voice to Dominum. This album boasts a lot. Certainly the zombie metal independence on concept. I've not carried that before my playlist, but great adventurism within their pieces. But these free experiments, initiated by the Dead or Alive cover, You Spin Me Around Like a Record, legendary piece, told very well by a zombie metal chic. So, when Bad Guy gets retrofitted to Dominum stylization, what are we in for? I don't know. Again, quite a variance in terms of cover ranges, right? We study, it's a fun sub-journey amidst many collaborative music consultations we take to a good pool of artists in recognition of Dominum. Let's hear what this sounds like. Whatever extreme you approach, by the way, I hope you feel welcome. Whether you're a Dominum fan like myself or an initiate listener to their work, this could be a first encounter for you, but you might know Bad Guy, right? Highlighted popular piece. And I'm not always one for, you know, mainstream American pop music, but the individuality of that number really stuck out. Let's hear what it sounds like fitted to Dominum's vision. I'm really curious to see where this goes. I have no clue what to expect other than, I'm sure, a resonant and powerful encounter and a capable cover. Let's witness it together for a first-time interaction. <laughs> Perfect so far. Very much Dominum. Fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Amplified aggression on the rock metal band. Perfect. Heavy riffs. Heavier voices, too. How do they even manage the pauses? More metallic twinge, the perfect mimicry of the original number. Fantastic shades of resonance. Drawn out organization, developing where we're going next. Perfect changes. Transitions between each verse really work on this one. Evenly paced like the original number. Again, key lines of similarity, and still independence. These sections are fantastic! Oh, how are the echoed vocals going to appear? More of a rapid modulation. 
Fantastic. They didn't got the switch. Perfect. Wow. Vocally, I'll tell you, this group just amazes me. Every piece, it just gets better and better with them on exploration. And this is rounding out the near uh, uh, ending to the record at track 12 of 13. So we're closing out the journey pretty soon with the last piece. We're about to welcome being the only cover I'm not familiarized to. But wow, I know bad guy. It's a remarkable piece. Again, Billie Eilish, very talented in her own independent respect. It, it, how, I forget exactly how she described it. Again, rather um, rough understanding, though again, I know a particular batch of her numbers, but Bad Guy, probably the one I've returned to the most. Just its independent personality, that beat, instantly clicks. And again, I'm not normally one for pop music, unless it may be intertwined with metal, or any experimentations we've had here on First Consultations. True. There are plenty of exceptions, and I keep an open door policy to anything. But generally, in the Hollywood wheelhouse of what's popular today, I've not necessarily been the most impressed. But Billie Eilish offered an exception of Bad Guy, I think, to a lot of us. But to hear that go metal. And a clear synonymy between versions, right? Clear echoes. Key match. Paced identically. But the depth of Dominum's voice on this one. Those outro vocals specifically, the reaches, my gosh, they are so commanding. And that's been persistent, of course, on a number of their past tracks. We've seen that again from the originalist side of Dominum on track uh, unveiling. But on the covers, my word, these are good. Again, really tight constructions. And you see, as I've said many times, a versatility within how different artists choose to go down the cover path from each number. Even a bit of a mixed space with certain artists amongst themselves with a cover batch. Um, looking at, let's say, for example, Foya Schwang's. So much versatility in choice, right? Even within their one group of how many covers they've done, and it's a good supply with them. You can't always predict where a number goes on destination because there's just oftentimes so much superficially that changes on presentation. Close tie. Just bad guy gone, very direct metal. And the support backing on the instrumental score side, it's just, it's so great. The variance on amplification too, depending on again, where the growth goes on the original number. It's fantastic on choice to match that so well. On an initiate encounter, no less. Again, first album, the density and the depth that Dominum hits on these releases truly impresses me. So far on their original numbers, but the covers are like a whole number level. Again, you're taking well-known pieces on debut standing and just creating these remarkable experiences that still, again, 12 tracks in on our 13, sur uh, 13 new track survey of Dominum's body of work to this point. And there still is ready adventurism, absolute delight. Again, prowess were demonstrated, heavier riffs. That key, the key control is beautiful. And that the vocal amplification in Thai, man. <laughs> and plus the higher synth twinges too. Fantastic choice. Not as much of a jumping that a bad guy does, but it works. Plus, with the vocals coming in later, I think there's a bit of a choir touch. Not choir, but you know, that's not the right word. Background supportive presence, I believe, on the other members. I'm still in a state of shock. Again, how good these numbers are. Emerging space with this talent. Just fresh, again, on a European metal consideration. And already, how many works we've surveyed together. This is an impressive collection. Again, I love Bad Guy and its original flair, but I'm going to be returning to this one pretty much nonstop. Just like you spin me around like a record. That one also really impressed me. But Bad Guy? Definitive elevation on expectancy. Again, Dominum. What a strong name so far. And hopefully, 
their popularity will continue to widen. Again, I see potential. There's little out, or little press advertisements that are floating around out there, so hopefully they're attracting new eyes of those who have not yet welcomed their graces already. They have so much capability, though. I am very impressed with this group. And obviously, the full album survey decision is warranted to not only steady, again, the original pieces and their versatility, their ready ready aptitude expressed routinely and individually on part of both or, 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 of each number from one to another, but to get to these covers, two experiences of three in thus far, and I'm really impressed. Close matches, again, dominant, reflective respectability. But the shades of freshness and how well-managed these numbers are, quite impressive. I'd love to hear if that's a feeling of uh, concurrence with you down below. Of course, music is very much a subjective experience. What do you feel about this translation of Bad Guy? And how do you approach Dominum? First, or first interaction? Long-time listener, what do you think? I am, I can't say it any better than I'm absolutely impressed and astounded and still in a state of shock on how well-managed this is so early into Dominum's arrival. But the future is going to be nice. I can already tell with this group. I cannot wait for future developments whenever they materialize. Our third cover experience, I'm sure, will continue that same trend. But Hey Living People as a collection is really impressing me, broadly speaking. These covers, though, man... Really impressive stuff from this group. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.